Okay, fifth chakra. So we're actually, unbeknownst to many of you, we've been taking you through the Hindu chakra system using an indigenous perspective to it. So I've had the privilege of studying with several Hindu teachers since I was very young. Not really on purpose, I just sort of was grabbed by these people, <laughs> by these beautiful meditation type people who said, okay, Dawn, you need to learn some things. And they just started training me. And then I started uh, going back to my own ceremonies in my Mohawk tradition about hmm, almost 20, no, 15 years ago, studying my own um, ceremonies in that tradition. And then I started talking to elders about the connection between an indigenous perspective to this system and the Hindu perspective. And there were some very beautiful similarities and a lot of equally, if not more beautiful differences. So in this fifth chakra, which we're about to play now, it's all about getting things moving so that you can say and so you can say what you're meant to say and give voice to what you really want to give voice to. So if you're angry with someone, have a resentment, something that you really need to tell someone, this is something you could think about right now. It's also a place that's, because it's located in your throat. It's also a place where you um, receive and transmit uh, communication and learning, and it's a good one for teachers, for teaching. So as I do this, I'm gonna lead you in some movements, just gentle movements in your chair, so you don't wanna like hurt anybody or move around too much, um, but mostly with your arms, and then you'll feel your torso go, and feel free to join me in the movements.
Thank you.